Welcome to Northwest Profiles, a look at people, places, and events of interest in the inland Northwest. Sled dog racing is a demonstration in canine grace, strength, and beauty. Each winter you can see this display at the Priest Lake Sled Dog Races in North Idaho. The Inland Empire Sled Dog Association stages this first class event. It provides sled dog racers the chance to test their dog team's abilities against the trail and the competition. At a race, you'll hear a lot of noise from the dogs. They enjoy the sport as much as people do. They bark, scream, yodel, and jump on their hind legs, aching to run. Spectators attending their first sled dog race are often surprised by the variety of dogs used in racing teams. Most expect to see only Arctic breeds, such as the beautiful Siberian Huskies or the Alaskan Malamutes pulling sleds. In reality, many types of dogs can be sled dogs. No matter what the breed, all of these dogs have one thing in common. These dogs love running. They were bred to run. They like it probably more than the people who are racing them. They really enjoy it. They look forward to it. And you'll see that they're all excited about it as you go around and, and watch these dogs. A lead dog on a team has some exceptional traits that make it the leader of the pack. Lead dogs are different. Uh, they're usually the more intelligent dog uh, of your group. and. Uh, and you train them especially so they know left from right and uh, what to do and they have an instinct for it that uh, maybe the other dogs don't have. We run two uh, Siberian Huskies up front and they seem to have more of an innate desire to go down the road. They don't have an agenda, they're not stopping to smell alongside the road, they're not picking up things. The Alaskan Malamutes are a little more social, a little slower. Uh, my wife likes to talk about uh, they want to stop and have a committee meeting. <laughs> Sled dogs, like all athletes, spend more time training than competing. By the time a dog places a paw on the starting line, it may have logged hundreds of training miles. Like a human athlete, a sled dog's diet affects its ability to compete. A top quality dry dog food is critical, but ground chicken, liver, or other meat products usually supplements it. Plenty of fresh water is also essential. Most of the drivers begin training their dogs for the racing season during mid-August or early September. To get ready for the races, I, I train them with getting them exercised. I, train, I exercise them about four times a week. If it's a four mile race, then you're gonna do two miles a day at, to get them fit. And it's not only the dogs that get fit, it's you, you have to be fit too. The non-mushers think you, you just sit in the sled and let the dogs do the, all the work, but the musher does the same amount of work as, as the dogs do. You run up hills, because it, it puts a lot of work on the dogs and you don't want to wear them out for the next day of the race. Thank you. At Priest, there is a class for every driver who wants to race, regardless of age, experience, or number of dogs in their kennel. From the 12-dog mid-distance class that runs a 35-mile trail daily for two consecutive days to the peewee class, where youngsters from ages 4 to 8 race with only one dog. Each of the classes start and finish at the Priest Lake Airport. Make no bones about it, sled dog racing is a show of the fast and the furious. Well, it gets you outdoors and gives you something to do in the wintertime. It's, a, it's an enjoyable, quiet relaxing sport for the people that do it. It's fun, it's different, it's, it's a peaceful sport. You're out there in the snow with the dogs and it's pretty fun. The dogs, you can just hear their breathing, you can hear them panting and, and their footprints in the snow and the sled runners. It's really quiet and it's nice and the country's nice and you get out and there's not many people. And, uh, you can just enjoy the dogs and we have a good time. Dog sledding is a lot of fun. You take it on a big load because you've got an animal to care for 12 months out of the year. But it's a good thing. It's, it's for young people, it's probably as young as uh, five or six. It's great for teenage kids because it teaches them responsibility. And the adults like it. I'm not sure why, probably for as many reasons as there are people out here. Uh, we like it just because I get a chance to spend a lot of time with my wife. 
and we both like the dogs and we raise raise dogs so we get a chance to test ourselves against what's you know what, what we're doing for training each year the primary goal of the inland empire sled dog association is to provide quality racing at the priest lake sled dog races exceptional racing at priest is expected and provided no matter what the weather conditions we really have good snow conditions for a race and and I don't think we've ever canceled a race because we had uh, a lack of snow. It's gratifying to see new people start and people be successful. And most of them work really hard at this thing and they train and they only have one or two events to go to a year. And there aren't many races around the Northwest. And it's a big, big deal for almost all of them. And so we try to make it as pleasant as we possibly can. We do the, the trails as best we can and we Try to make it as good a time as it possibly can be. It's like a gift, you know, you get to do this thing and sometimes you wonder why you're being allowed to do it. Good dog, run by, run by, good dog. If you have a story idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSPS-TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSPS Public Television.